Hey, all right, everybody. Look, I haven't got another box. <laughs> now, what I got is the core of the CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 uh, uh, motor. Now, why have I got this in my hand again? Why am I making another video about the CYC motor? Well, I'll tell you why in a minute. Right, okay, I've got the motor in my hand here because I want to go through a few things that I didn't before. And I've also did a little bit of um, emailing to CYC because somebody in the comment section said to me, well, actually a couple of people said to me, um, on the CYC website, it says that this, this motor core has a sleeve. Now, they, what they're saying is, and what I was thinking as well, because I read the thing, and I'll put it up on the screen right now, and I'll read it. With mechanically retained magnets inside the CYC motors, they are designed to reach high RPMs without failing under heat stress. Not only are the magnets mechanically secured, but CYC use high grade quality magnets that can withstand up to 180 degrees Celsius, much more than the motor will reach during your ride, allowing for ease of mind during any conditions. The X1 Pro motor is equipped with a SPM rotor to optimize the efficiency and torque with a small form factor. To prevent the magnets loosening, the magnets are mechanically retained by the sleeve in the rotor. They are named the Gen 3 rotor. So that was what was on the CYC website, but they've changed it now after a few emails with me back and forth. They've actually changed the wording. But anyway, I'll tell you what the, they've changed in a minute, or you can go and look yourself. But the, so the wording was that it had a sleeve on it. And when I looked up sleeved cores on motors, it was an actual, like a, like a cylinder going around, a thin cylinder sleeve, and it hold all the magnets on. Um, and that's what I was thinking in my head, but it's not that. So uh, CYC did send me a diagram. So I'll pop a diagram on the screen now. Not that, well, it, it's a picture. They sent me a picture and I'll try my best to explain it. I'm not an engineer, so I'll muddle my way through and you'll have to try and understand what I'm on about. So let's have a look at the picture right now. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but there's like little sort of, uh, it's hard to explain really, but <laughs> the, the, it's got like little groove slots that the magnets slide in. So what I'll do now, we'll head to the shed, all come with me to the shed now, we'll all go in the shed together and uh, <laughs> it'll be a bit cramped, but I'll we can make some room. But we'll go to the shed together right now and we'll do a bit of a close up and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And then I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail about what happened with these magnets because it's quite interesting. Well, I think it's interesting and, you know, the information should be good. And if CYC is watching, they can see what happened to my motor as well. So let's go to the shed. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Right, okay then. I don't know if you can see this here, but um, this is the way the magnet has come apart there. Now, it's a tiny, tiny groove. It's going to be extremely difficult to see. But there's a tiny, tiny groove going along there. And there's a tiny, tiny groove going along there. Now, here's the uh, broken in half magnet -y bit. I don't know if that's focusing. But just imagine, if I point it that way there, I don't know if you can see. I'll try and use the pointer. It's sort of got a little pointed edge there and a little pointed edge there. And they go into a groove and slide down in there like that. Okay? Just imagine that sliding in. I can't slide it in because this this brass top bit here, it, it this is put on after, so they slide them in. Slide, 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 like that. Slide them down, slide them down. Imagine that bit be, be there as well. <laughs> the magnets make me jump everywhere. Let me try and put that there like that. Right, imagine that's there like that. Oh, we'll get rid of that. You don't have to see that. Um, they slide them in, all of them in, until it goes to the bottom, wherever it is, then that bit's put up, pressed on, I, I assume. But, so, the sleeve they were talking about was this slot either side. It slots in. And they were calling that a sleeve. Uh, and like I said before, I, I assumed a sleeve was like something that went over the top of it. You know, went over the top and fitted on it. I might be wrong, I'm not an engineer, but all the other... Electric motors I looked at 
that said sleeve had something holding the magnets in. So these have got slots. So they slide down with slots. Now you think having the slots would keep them in, but obviously something's gone very, very wrong. Now, I don't know if you can see, it, it might not show up. This one next to it has also got a crack, okay? This one hasn't, and then all the others are okay. Now I want to show you something. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and see if I can get it, get it to do it. If I lift this up here, did you see that move then? I'm back down, and the one next to it, that moves, and then, oh, it goes back down. It's odd because this is pull, the magnet's pulling the screwdriver. Then this one next to it here, you cannot move that one. You cannot move that one. You cannot move that one. None of the others move, except this one that failed here. This one next to it, look, this one. That doesn't move, okay? So it's this one, this one, and this one. Let me get my pointer. This one, this one, and this one, they move. So they, they must be slid in and have a glue on them as well. So they are slid in with glue on the back to keep them in place. Now, uh, what was I going to say? So somehow this one's jumped out. Now, when I read that uh, description out, it said these magnets can withstand 180 degree degrees Celsius. Uh, this motor didn't get that hot. It didn't get to 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, it probably didn't get to 100 degrees Celsius. But somehow this must have been some expansion here and it popped out. And that must have caused... Something popped out here and started causing friction and heat. And that was the noise I was hearing. So the design they are slotted in, which I think is different to the Generation 2. I think the Generation 2 was just glued in. These ones are slotted in in slots. So, breaking news. I just had another email from this engineer who's been emailing me. And uh, he looked at the photos of the, the slots. And he is calling them dovetails. That's what he's calling them, dovetails. The slots that I was talking about. So if you look up dovetails, you'll see what I mean. It's a similar sort of thing. And he also talked about um, the the slots that are holding it in uh, maybe not sufficient to hold the magnets on when the motor gets to high high revs. If it goes to a certain amount of revs, there's a lot of pressure on their magnets, and it might be lifting out. That's what he thinks. That's that's what he's surmising. Uh, now, I'm running a 72 volt system. Now, a 72 volt system. Will have will go a higher revs revolutions than a 52 volt or a 48 volt system. I think I'm right in saying that because obviously the higher the rev, that the more voltage you have, the faster top speed you have. So um, even though the CYC motor is designed to do uh, 72 volts, uh, the way it's been designed maybe is. Um, uh, it's not quite substantial enough to hold them magnets on. Now, I'll try, I'll try and put a picture up because uh, it's really hard for me to get close to the, the motor core because I haven't got a a, a macro uh, camera to, to take a picture. But I'll put a picture up now. This is the be best picture I put up on the screen now. Um, that's as close as I could get. So if you want to zoom in or, or whatever, if you... Uh, that's the best I could get. And also, the magnet that snapped, the back of the magnet, I'll put a picture up again now, has a delamination. It's like an outer coating on a magnet, and that's delaminated. So we've got some delamination uh, on the magnets, maybe high, too, too high revs, and maybe the retaining system isn't quite adequate enough to hold them in at high revs. That's my assumption. Um, if you're engineers, Make a comment down below. Or if you just want to guess or surmise yourself, make a comment down below what you think. Now, I just thought I'd share all this information just in case there's anybody else who wants to purchase a CYC. I thought I'd be honest, you know, and share what has happened to me. It doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. If you've got a lower voltage system like 52 volts, it, it might be fine. It might be absolutely fine. And I've gone to 72 volts, taking it to the extreme, and maybe this is what happened. I've taken it to failure point. Um, so if CYC is watching, like I said, maybe they can learn from 
looking at my core and what's happened and the 72 voltage I had going through it. And I just want to stress that uh, CYC have been very good. They've been emailing me back and forth. They've even sent me pictures of the design. Um, they, they've even changed the wording on their website after they talked to me. So if you look at their website now, um, I will put a picture up now quickly. And the wording at the bottom is has got slots instead of sleeves, uh, instead of sleeved. So they did change that. Uh, so they've been very, very good and they're not trying to make a bad motor, they're trying to make the best motor they can. So hopefully, by looking at my motor, and if they have any more failures, they can sort it out. So anyway, that was my breaking news. Right, okay then, so there you go. I hope that explains a few things. Like I said, I'm sorry, I'm not an engineer. I know a little bit of stuff, but I don't know a lot of stuff. So, <laughs> so I, I'm pretty good at the basics, but I'm not, you know, I can't get into the nitty gritty really well. Um, I'm just learning as I go along about motors because my background is in more of like fossil fuel engines, if you like. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit newer to the electrical side of engines. But anyway, so I just want to say one thing as well is like obviously CYC, they haven't tried to design a bad motor on purpose. Obviously there's something not quite right somewhere. Uh, there's maybe some, some heat building up. I don't know exactly. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you and maybe it's of some help. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, if you did like this video, remember, give it a like, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoo 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 hoi!